everyone, it's May 13th, and I'm here with a new segment called Pride Rants. So, since I started Pride's Picks, anytime any geek news happens, I have you guys asking me what I think about it. Which is funny, because I don't know why anybody would give a fuck what I think about something. But since you asked, let's get started. First up is Channing Tatum as Gambit. It has been announced, it's official, and the fans are rageful. And rightfully so. Gambit does not in any way, shape, or form resemble Channing Tatum. Channing should be leaner, he should be taller, he should be more suave. He's kind of like a big old meathead. I could see him as a cannonball, I could see him as a multiple man, but Gambit just isn't it. And the reason Channing got the role is, every time he's done any publicity for any movie, he throws out there that he wants to play Gambit. Except that he also states multiple times that he has the worst Cajun accent. So he's thinking he could just go see a language therapist of sorts and get that thing all worked out and he could just kick ass as Gambit on the big screen. As much as I loved him in 21 Jump Street and I think the guy has a great acting background, I think he might fall flat as the Gambit I've known and loved. So for that reason, I'm going to piss on it. <laughs> Next up is Batman in the new Batmobile. Now, Scott Snyder has released a photo, black and white, of Ben Affleck standing next to his new ride. I don't hate it, really. The Batmobile looks like the Blackbird and the old school Batmobile fucked. And then this little baby Batmobile popped out. It looks like it could maybe go to space. I'm okay with that. Maybe it morphs from a Batmobile into a Batwing and we're all going to be like, oh my god, that's crazy. The suit, it looks veiny. Like when I looked at it, all I saw was veins. And all I could think of is like a big black dildo with veins all wrapped around it. And I don't know who thought of this. Maybe I'm just in the gutter. But I expect to see some bat wang every time I look at it. Now, somebody online did a representation of that photo where they photoshopped the color scheme a bit to look like Batman's gray, yellow, blue outfit. And it actually looked pretty good. I really hope they're doing that. Maybe the photo's just black and white to hide the fact. If they're going that route, I will be tickled. If not, I am going to see a lot of Batwing the entire movie. So I'm going to give that a wait for the real color photos and see what happens. But I am somewhat impressed and somewhat turned on. Wrapping up this week, let's talk about the Xbox One. Now, Xbox just announced that they are going to release an Xbox One minus the Kinect for a matching $399 to what PlayStation is selling the PS4 for. They've also announced that you don't have to have their Xbox Gold account to access things like Hulu Plus, Netflix, Machinima, stuff you kind of already pay for or should be getting for free. They're not going to put up this wall that says you can't get to the internet. And they're doing it to compete with PlayStation. Turns out PlayStation sales were up because their shit was $100 less, and now Microsoft is scrambling to catch up. Uh, something else they're going to do is offer free games monthly, which PlayStation already does. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm actually an Xbox fangirl, and in all of the arguments, I always go for Xbox, and I would prefer to get an Xbox One when I do actually buy one, and it looks like I probably will. I love my Kinect. But I fucking never use it. And if you're like me, you turn it off so that the Kinect can't watch you scratching your balls, scratching your ass, <laughs> while you're watching Netflix and eating potato chips and it's crumbling all down your face. I don't want Microsoft to see that shit. I want them to think I'm uber hella sexy all the time. And I want them to make it rain Microsoft points. That being said, I am excited that the Xbox One is going down in price and I'm going to give it a buy it now. I might actually go out and get it sometime soon, and you might see it on future game nights. Before I leave, I need you to go check out Welcome to Tates.com. It is a new project I am a part of. I will be acting in it terribly or decently, and I have been pushing it, promoting it. I have great ideas. We are actually going to invite backers into the writing room. Starting this weekend, as soon as we start having writing room meetings, we will be streaming them live, and backers will have a link to join the stream and tell us what they think should happen next. We already know what we want to do with the series, but we want you guys to help us fill in the blanks. And good night, everybody. Mwah. Boom, 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 boom.